Covington Catholic Colonels take on the North Laurel Jaguars. It's sponsored by Community Trust Bank, ARH, Food City, Boyd County Tourism, the University of the Cumberlands, Kipper Home Furnishings in London and Somerset, Prestonsburg Tourism, UK North Fork Valley Clinic, Union College, Legacy Automotive Group, and Paintsville Tourism. come away with a loss 69 to 65 they hook back up we'll step out and take a break and be back with basketball action here on the WYMT game of the week why is this man so happy he's got advantage checking from community trust bank CTB's got him covered with credit monitoring and identity theft protection cellular phone replacement and repair roadside assistance service and travel and leisure discounts and with his advantage plus interest checking he'll never pay a ctb atm fee no matter where he uses it so be happy get advantage checking from community trust bank introducing the dovetail collection from vaughn bassett created from the finest solid american white oak lumber aged and refined by mother nature and lovingly shaped and finished in our factories in the virginia mountains in four fresh and rich finishes all with custom hardware showcasing american craftsmanship at its best the dovetail collection by vaughn bassett available now at kemper home furnishings in london and somerset we must all remain committed to protecting ourselves and others from the spread of covid19 the best way that we can protect ourselves from hospitalization or even death is by staying up to date on our COVID-19 vaccine and regularly scheduled booster shots. Be sure to do your part and schedule your vaccine or booster shot today. We're all in this together.
Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the introduction of tonight's starting lineups. First for the visitors, the Colonels of Cove Catholic. Starting at guard, a 6'2 junior, number 14, Brady Hussey. Starting at guard, a 5'10 freshman, number 3, Athens McGillis. Starting at guard, a 6'2 senior, number 4, Caskell McGillis. Starting at guard, a 6'1 senior, number 2, Evan Ipsaro. Starting at forward, a 6'3 senior, number 40, Aiden Jones. Assistant coaches of the Colonels are Joe Frederick, Rich Hoyt, Steven Sorrell, Matt Stevens, Zach Talber, and the head coach, Scott Rusads. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet for the starters of your North Little Tag. At guard, a 6'2 sophomore, number five, Colton Ryan. Starting at four, a 6'5 junior, number 25, Gavin Chan. And at guard, a 6'1 junior, number 23, Brody Brown. Starting at guard, a 6'3 senior, number 3, Harid Shepard. And starting at guard, a 6'4 senior, number 24, Ryan. Uh, assistant coaches of the Jaguars are Adam Franson, Philip Rollins, Cody Masser, Tim Sizemore, and the head coach is Nathan Valentine. Folks, glad to be with you here from North Laurel High School, and it's been a circus everywhere Reed Shepard has been this season. Tonight, he gets crowned a McDonald's All-American, and it is an absolutely packed house here at North Laurel. An old-school atmosphere along the railings. If you've ever been at, South, uh, at North Laurel High School, there's railings all around the top of the gym, and the fans have packed it out. Feels like a rivalry game between these two. It was a 69-65 game last time in favor of Cubcat. We're about to kick things off here. Tonight, Aiden Jones steps in the center circle with Reed Shepard. I'm John North here on the WYMT Game of the Week. Your officials tonight, Jeff Ely, Kyle Adams, and Chris Simpson on the call. Shepard versus Jones. Tip is up, and we are underway here on the WYMT Game of the Week as Davidson hands off to Shepard. Last time out, Shepard only four points as Davidson with an early touch right of the lane. Out to Rawlings, and now putting it on the deck is Brock. Brock has formed into quite a role player. Davidson with the jumper. It's up and no good. Chadwell battling for the ball. It's back to Davidson. Takes one dribble. Muscles a shot up. It's no good. Tipped around and ripped away. The rebound went to Hussey, and now it's back the other way, three, Brody Brock, no good. Chadwell battles for the board and is fouled underneath. It is a physical affair early on. Coach Ruth says is already working the officials after that foul call as North Laurel will have it on the baseline. Glad to have you along with us. Ball comes out to Rawlings. He looks over to Brock and an offensive foul call. It will be an illegal screen against Rawlings. As the Colonel student section right above us here on the WYNT Game of the Week, you'll be hearing a lot of them in my microphone. The North Laurel fan base just uh, below us here to the left as North Laurel comes out in the early zone defense. 
Ball work to McGillis. As you got Athens McGillis as well as uh, Castle McGillis out there as well. Three-pointer on the way. That's Castle, and he drains it. North Laurel down 3-0 to start this one. Davidson, pass over to Brock. Three on the way, trying to match it. It's up no good. Chadwell battles for the board and will retain possession for the Jaguars, who come into this one 17-10 overall, 9-0 within the 13th region. Of course, this is outside of the region. Covington Path comes in from the 9th region, and they are number one in said region. Davidson, open, corner three, bang! Knotted back up at three apiece. A 3-2 zone look from North Laurel. Ball comes to Castle McGillis. Working in the corner was Ibsero. Jumper on the way, and he banks it in. Ibsero, 21 points last time out versus North Laurel. Covington Tack comes in at 21-3 overall, 9-1 within their region, a perfect 3-0 in the district. Three by Shepard's no good. Ipsero with the board. Racing to the other end. Gets it over in the corner to Athens McGillis. He won't pull the trigger. Out to Ipsero. McGillis going to look over to the sideline. For the call, Jones comes up in the high post. Davidson matches up with him. Back deep for Castle McGillis. Ipsero. Back to Athens McGillis. On the left wing, quick touch inside to Jones from Hussey. Great ball movement. Three by Castle McGillis is no good. Davidson temporarily had it to Chadwell. And now Brock secures it. And Brock is fouled in the backcourt. Aiden Jones a bit too overzealous. Will commit the foul. Tense atmosphere here from North Laurel. As you would expect, this has, uh, this has a state semifinal written on it here between these two teams and if you look at the state rankings got to think it's a very real possibility Rawlings has it deep out to Davidson thought about the three Rawlings three no good it rims out Chadwell tips to Davidson who spins inside the paint is blocked it looked like but a foul called Davidson with two shots coming Ryan Davidson, all of the, obviously the hype goes to Reed Shepard from those on the outside looking into North Laurel, but Reed himself will tell you, Davidson, a heck of a teammate and a heck of a ball player in his own right. As he could very well, if he chooses, go on to play hoops on the next level as well. Davidson got them both. Cubcath has bought, brought a crowd here tonight. As I got here around uh, right around 6.15, and this parking lot was already packed for the JV game, which also went down to the wire. North Laurel losing that one to Cubcath. It, it went right down to the wire, though, as uh, North had a chance to win it. At the buzzer, three, Ipsero straight away, couldn't get this one to go. Ball tipped out, Jones, extra pass. Hussey, three is good. That's Brady Hussey. 8-5 lead for Covington Catholic, high post for Chadwell. Underneath, beautiful find from Shepard to Davidson. Davidson with seven early points. He led the way with 32 points in the first meeting between these two. Shepard couldn't get it going offensively in that game, but defensively and facilitating, as he does here to Brock, was on. Ball's tipped away from Brock. Settles out to Rawlings. Shepard catches it deep post, is instantly double teamed. Brock Rawlings, three on the way, no good. Davidson board and finish. 
Davidson again, 32, first time out. He's well on his way there as it's North Laurel 9, Ryan Davidson 9, I should say, Covington Catholic 8. And now the Colonels will throw it away, and that will take us to our first media timeout. It's a dandy between North Laurel and Covington Catholic here on the WYMT Game of the Week. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverado's in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress. About building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this, combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling, is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. WYMT Game of the Week. I'm John North here on the call as it's an early one-point lead for Ryan Davidson and company right now as Davidson has rattled off nine points here in the first quarter of play. Covington Catholic with eight three players scoring for a Cub Cat. It's Castle McGillis, Brady Hussey, and Evan Absara. Cole Jervis into the ball game for the Jaguars of North Laurel, as well as Kyler Elza as Shepard tries to throw it into Davidson again and throws this one over his head and turns it over. Colin Detzel in for Covington Catholic. The Colonels trailing by one with the basketball here in the first quarter play. First touch. Also, Noah Johnson in there for Covington Cat. Aiden Link, another sub, as this one nearly turned over and off the leg of Ryan Davidson. And so the Colonels will keep it in the half court. Top of the key for Hussey. Leaves it. Far side to Link. It's no good, deflected, and Shepard has it in the open court. Gets caught in midair, throws it to Elza. Three is no good. North Wall comes out cold. Chadwell with the finish offensively. It's apparent that North Laurel has that advantage inside so far with Davidson and Chadwell. They have eaten on the offensive rebounding end. Hussey with the basketball. Cero, extra pass to Johnson. Stolen away. Shepard on the breakaway. Dunk. <laughs> Timeout. Colonels will see it here on the replay. Shepard with the steal and the one-handed into the two-handed jam here with about two minutes to play in the first quarter. Reed Shepard. Announced, of course, as a McDonald's All-American. And joins an elite class next year at the University of Kentucky. Aaron Bradshaw, Justin Edwards, and DJ Wagner also to that All-American team. As the Wildcats loaded on the recruiting end coming into next season. Now Shepard joins an elite class of players with that McDonald's All-American title. And we'll get to more of those as the broadcast goes on. But he becomes uh, a uh, rare player from Kentucky, the state, getting that title. And it's something to be celebrated. And there was a packed house here to celebrate it. Johnson with a touch early. Epsara with it on the skinny left wing. Kick out. Detzel is blocked by Chadwell. 
Shepard to the other end. Pauses. Nowhere to go with it. Floats it up to Chadwell, who goes up through a double team and finishes. Chadwell, a breakout superstar. At the 13th Region Tournament a couple of years ago, actually broadcasted by WYMT. Got his kind of star moment with KSR on the call. Johnson for three. It's no good. Shepard with the board. And since then, he has torn it up on the basketball court and only gotten better. And now with the Jaguars, has dealt with some injury, but will nearly pick up an assist there as a missed jumper is no good. Elza will get to the baseline and then quickly call a timeout to retain possession with under a minute to play. Again, Reed Shepard, 11 McDonald's All-Americans from the state of Kentucky. D'Angelo Russell being the last one back in 2014. And uh, Reed Shepard will be the first McDonald's All-American from Kentucky to attend Kentucky since Rajon Rondo in 04. Of course, Rondo did not finish his high school basketball in the States. You'd have to go back to Scotty Hobson, another McDonald's All-American that ended up going to the University of Tennessee to finish his career in the state. And Reed Shepard will do the same and hopes to get to the state tournament in Rupp. We've got to get through that tough 13th region first as Shepard turns it over right in the hands of Johnson. Epsero gets a screen at the top of the key. Pump fakes. Pivots back out. Finds McGillis, and McGillis will finish. I mean, McGillis with the assist. It was Hussey with the finish. Jervis outside. Wants a screen from Davidson with 24 seconds. Now finds Shepard. No look pass. Nearly taken away. Elza, Jervis. Davidson tries to bounce pass underneath and a foul called in the high post. See Nate Valentine there, the success that he's had here at North Wall. Don't let the 17 and 10 record fool you for this North Laurel Jaguars team if you're just watching scoreboard and watching the results roll in every week. Jervis settling, finds Davidson in the corner and he jams it. Oh my. Ipsero throws up a prayer, it's no good and Davidson ends the first quarter with a dunk. North Laurel up seven against Covington Catholic. They're on the WYMT game of the week. Advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverados in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. We must all remain committed to protecting ourselves and others from the spread of COVID-19. The best way that we can protect ourselves from hospitalization or even death is by staying up to date on our COVID-19 vaccine and regularly scheduled booster shots. Be sure to do your part and schedule your vaccine or booster shot today. We're all in this together. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. And this is the way we ended the first quarter of play here on the WIMT Game of the Week. Baseline, Davidson soars and puts Johnson on a poster. Takes the 17-10 lead here into the second, and we are back underway here on the WIMT Game of the Week. I'm John North, glad to be on the call for you. If Sarah will bring it over the timeline. At 3-2 zone, paying dividends right now for North Laurel. You don't see a lot of that in high school basketball as they'll drop and match up in the middle where they need to be, but 
really defending the perimeter with Jones the only post threat. This is a small Colonels team. Heavy guard play, and they can knock down the tray as it floats over to Hussey. Deep three on the way, and right on cue, Castle McGillis knocks it down from deep. That is their strength as North Laurel has eaten inside in the opening quarter of this basketball game. Ball comes to Brock, out to Shepard. Shepard's got a dunk in this one to Chadwell. Thought about the deep three. Gets a screen, Euro step, finds Davidson going baseline. Reverse layup is good. Davidson, a matchup nightmare for the Colonels. They just don't have anyone that can come out and guard him on the perimeter and defend him inside. He's drawing the bigs out and then taking them off the dribble or moving without the basketball. And that's why he has 13 points in the opening half. It's Hussey on the drive, swatted away by Davidson. Off to Shepard. Ahead to Chadwell, bumped. It's up and no good, and free throws coming for Chadwell, getting rewarded for running the floor. It's one thing that Coach Valentine's teams does about as well as anyone. You can see it here on the WYMT uh, replay. But with Davidson, Shepard, and Chadwell, whoever is inside, especially when you have a size matchup and pulling down that rebound, you could just send everyone else. They've done it for the last couple years with Shepard and Davidson, but now with Chadwell involved, you see what happens when he runs the floor. He gets a free throw out of it there. Give him five points. Next one on the way is good. Chadwell got them both. McGillis brings the ball up, waves everyone else off as he gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Jake Stewart subbed in. Jones comes up to set the three. Long three on the way. And Athens McGillis knocks the bottom out of it. Cubcast starting to find it from deep. Chadwell, ball is tipped. Extra pass back into him from Rawlings and out of bounds go the Colonels and so North Laurel will have it on the baseline. Shepard jogs down to take the ball out. Shepard finds Brock. Rawlings back to Brock. Deep three on the way. Good! Brody Brock, a consistent shooter for the Jaguars. Ebsero drives with the right hand. Out to McGillis. On the drive goes Athens McGillis, and he is fouled. Coach Ruth sets his fired up over on his sideline as he has been from tip. And again, both these coaches kind of going at it as if it's a uh, state championship caliber game and it is you won't find many of these in this part of the state and North Laurel has played a brutal schedule as ball comes underneath to the big man Aiden Jones on a pass from Athens McGillis and that'll earn two shots at the foul line for Jones the senior Jones settling in this one, it's up and no good. This is the first. Tyler Elza back into the contest. Rawlings will get a seat. Next shot up, good. Cole Jervis is going to come in, and Davidson will get a breather with those early 13 points. Brock brings the ball up, handoff to Elza. Back to Brock. Jervis, hounded by Absaro. Von Shepard. Back out to Jervis. 
Jervis almost had it back tap. Drives, kicks out to Shepard in a block called right of the lane. North Laurel will have it on the baseline. Shepard. Look for Chadwell, couldn't find him. Fires a pass out to Elza. Elza faked the handoff, drive, double teamed, hit, and a charge call. How about that? Stepping in to take the charge is Aiden Jones. And that'll give it back to the Colonels. We'll see it here on the replay. Drove, and look at Jones coming over there to step in and take it. The big man sacrificing his body to get possession. So the Colonels will have the basketball. It'll be Athens McGillis to bring it up. McGillis, just a freshman in a big time game here and the only freshman starter for this Colonels basketball team. So he has it on the deep right wing. Out front to Link. Driving and cut off is Stewart. Back out front to McGillis who drives. A spin going to work is Link. Caught left of the lane and kicked back out to Ipsaro and the Cardinals will be forced to reset. McGillis with the basketball. McGillis looks for a cutter. Ipsara trying to get away from Shepard right now and just cannot shake it. On the drive is Hussey in a tough bucket. How about Hussey putting his head down and just going to get one? Shepard, off balance three. This one won't go. Nearly off of Chadwell, who secures it. Shakes off a double team and finishes. A testament to Chadwell's strength. He had two guys draped on him and somehow finished. Hussey inside of Sorrow misses. Brock off to Shepard. To the other end, Shepard. Kick out Jervis. Drives, two-hand chest pass into Chadwell, who goes with the baby hook and scores it. Chadwell had 14 in this first meeting between these two. When the ball has been in the hands of Chadwell and Davidson, good things have happened for the Jaguars. McGillis drives and a reach-in foul against Jervis. It's going to give it to the Colonels in the half court and should take us to our media timeout here. And indeed it will. 28-19 lead for North Laurel over Covington Catholic here on the WYMT Game of the Week. She was such a welcome sight. I have been alone so long. But companions are a comfort when you roam the earth at night. The wilderness is frightening, but another body makes it bright. Sometimes destinations change. WYMT Game of the Week. The entire 13th region watching, paying attention to this one here tonight. The first look for a lot of people at North Laurel on our WYMT Game of the Week. We haven't had North this year as a lot of people tuned in to see the uh, Reed Shepherd show. And so far, Shepherd with just three points, but had that dunk earlier in this, excuse me, had two points, and had 
that steal and breakaway dunk. Again, just four points in the first meeting between these two, but did all the other things that make North Laurel a very good basketball team. And it just goes to show you, you know, a lot of people may say that if Shepard's held to four, that North Laurel is losing, but not by four against one of the best teams in the state. And that's what happened. On the road, Shepard behind the back dribble. Has it on a yo-yo to Brock. Kick out Rawlings. Now back out to Shepard. Shepard from near the volleyball line as Chadwell gets tangled up with Absaro. And they'll get Chadwell with the foul. As he's going to... He is going to have words for Kyle Adams, who is going to tee up Chadwell. So he's going to pick up two fouls back-to-back. So that's going to put Chadwell on the bench. And that may be the half for Gavin Chadwell. You can see him there on the North Wall benches. Ibsaro will step to the free throw line for the technical. First one on the way, it's good. It's only Ipsaro's third point again. You look at the quality of basketball teams on the floor. Ipsaro's the leading scorer for Covington Catholic. Comes in averaging 25 points a game. Reed Shepard, the leading scorer for North Laurel, averaging 22 points a game. These two are defending each other, and they have a combined six points right now in the second. That is the quality of basketball, and it's 28-21 with both leading scorers averaging nearly 50 a game between them. And a lot of good players have sorrow right on cue shoots a three. It's no good. But the board is Chase Keen, and he is fouled immediately as he come down with the basketball. Crossover, Shepard. Great find by to Jervis and now out to Brock. Brock drives back to Jervis. Kick out Rawlings and now out to Shepard. Covington Calf fan base coming alive behind me. High post to King. Look to Shepard and a foul call coming around the screen. And that will, I believe, put North Laurel on the line for one and a bonus for Chase Keene. Now we'll see Gavin Chadwell picking up a technical here. There, That was the foul right here as he got him with that left hand right in the left side. And that led to a technical shortly after. Jake Stewart out. And Aiden Link into the contest. This one up and no good as King got one up. Ipsaro. Looked ahead to Link. Floats it back to the top of the key. Ipsaro drives into the lane. Tried to float it up and he's going to get called for a walk. He went up with the right hand, got bumped. Tried to flip it, and it didn't even get to the rim. And he came back down with it as Davidson will come back into the game for Keen. Brock to Jervis, and now to Shepard. Shepard drives. Euro steps, layup no good. And he's hit hard, and Shepard hits the back of his head as he comes down. And you can hear that thump. Glad to see he's okay. Had to have hit his head pretty hard here. We'll see it here on the replay. Knifing through the lane, goes up two-handed, was hit on the way, and you can just see his head goes down holding the back of his head. You can hear it thump from up here. Shepard steps to the free throw line. This one on the way. It's up and good. Now 
next one on the way. Good. McGillis fires a pass ahead to Hussey. Deep three is no good. Shepard with the board. Shepard cuts it back to the middle of the floor. Thought about the three. Step back jumper on the way. It's pure. 34-21, the Colonels hurting. They need the halftime locker room. Absaro out at the volleyball line with it, went under a minute to play. Back to McGillis. Absaro looks to attack. Settles it back to the top of the key. Ruth Sats over to his left, drives. Absaro back out front to McGillis. Absaro drives across the lane. Kick three on the way is no good. Tipped around and Brock has it to Shepard. Well, North Laurel hold for the last shot. An impressive performance here in the first half for the Jaguars. The Colonels need some answers here in the second half. The Jaguars may not be done just yet. To Jervis. Brock with nine seconds. And walking with it is Keen. We'll give it back to the Colonels. 5.8. This is best case scenario now for Covington Catholic. Caskill McGillis comes back in. Ruth sets will sub out. They run up Cerro McGillis over into the corner to Caskill McGillis, who can't hit the three. Tipped up and no good, and that will end us here in the first half with North Laurel leading 34-21. It was a good one here in the first. We'll step out and take a break and talk about it when we return here on the WYMT Game of the Week. is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Introducing the Dovetail Collection from Vaughn Bassett, created from the finest solid American white oak lumber, aged and refined by Mother Nature, and lovingly shaped and finished in our factories in the Virginia Mountains in four fresh and rich finishes, all with custom hardware showcasing American craftsmanship at its best. The Dovetail Collection by Vaughn Bassett, available now at Kemper Home Furnishings in London and Somerset. At the heart of the U.S. 23 Country Music Highway and nestled between the scenic landscapes of Paintsville Lake and Dewey Lake, our hometown has a little something for the whole family. Outdoor adventure, antique shopping, museums, local eateries, Butcher Hollow, and music. Home of Loretta Lynn, Crystal Gale, Chris Stapleton, and Tyler Childers. Paintsville, Kentucky is where music meets the mountains. North Laurel leads it at the break, 34-21 here on the WYMT Game of the Week. I'm John North here on the call, and glad to have you with us here from a packed North Laurel Gymnasium. It was an electric first quarter. 
nearly, I think, a one-possession game, and North Laurel is able to blossom this lead out, 34-21, to mainly at the hands of Ryan Davidson and Gavin Chadwell. The Jaguars pose a threat inside that the Colonels are just not able to match. Meanwhile, on the flip side offensively for the Colonels, very, very good guard play, but nothing and not enough inside for them to uh, keep up in this matchup so far. Got to get some threes to fall up Cerro, only with four points here in the first half. As we'll get to some halftime stats for you, we'll start with the visitors on the scoreboard. That is uh, the Covington Catholic Colonels as Evan Absaro with three points, Brady Hussey with seven points, uh, Caskell McGillis with uh, six points, three points for Athens at McGillis, and one point for Aiden Jones. That rounds out the scoring column for the Colonels. Again, uh, a very, uh, you know, a firepower heavy guard laden team but just couldn't get enough threes to stay within 10 points of north there in the first half partly because of that 3-2 zone defense for the North Laurel Jaguars. Speaking of the North Laurel Jaguars they are led in scoring by Ryan Davidson who has 13 points, 10 points for Gavin Chadwell, 3 points for Brody Brock 1 point for Chase Keen and 8 points for Reed Shepard and that rounds out the scoring column for the North Laurel Jaguars. We'll step out and take a break and be back with more here on the WIMT Game of the Week. Advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverado's in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. Why is this man so happy? He's got advantage checking from Community Trust Bank. CTB's got him covered with credit monitoring and identity theft protection, cellular phone replacement and repair, roadside assistance service and travel and leisure discounts and with his advantage plus interest checking he'll never pay a ctb atm fee no matter where he uses it so be happy get advantage checking from community trust bank love is in the air and food city has everything you need for a grand romantic gesture sweep your valentine off their feet with thoughtful gifts straight from the heart this week, hearts will swoon with Cupid's Combo, a dozen premium roses, and a dozen hand-dipped chocolate strawberries, $34.99, and gift box or candy arrangements starting at $19.99. Share the love with Food City, valid February 8th through 14th. My name is Taylor. I am from Hazard, Kentucky. I had a visit here. The second I got out of my car, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I didn't need to hear anything else. He pulled up, like, my offer, and he scrolled down to the bottom, and it said, estimated total cost, zero dollars. I was like, I'm going here. I was looking for somewhere small and somewhere that I could feel at home and feel comfortable, and that's exactly what Union is to me. It's changed my life. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This... It's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. A little series history between these two teams. Covington Catholic leads the all-time series 3-1. North Laurel won the first meeting at 89-87 in OT. That was back on uh, January 12, 2021. Three out of the four previous meetings have been sided by eight points or less. That's why I said it kind of feels like a rivalry in here tonight. Let's take a look at what Reed Shepard has done this season, though. The McDonald's All-American, 22.4 points per game, 8.6 rebounds a game, shooting 88% from the line and 47% from the field. Has struggled a bit tonight. Uh, I say struggled offensively, only got seven points, but uh, really good defense played by the Colonels as we'll flip it over to their best player on the floor, Evan Absaro, as he is uh, coming in averaging 25 points per game, 5.3 rebounds, 57% from the field, which is, uh, if you've seen the shots that he's taken, is very impressive, 85% from the uh, charity stripe, as those two gentlemen have been battling in this one. They've went at it a couple times defensively, and now they uh, both have 11 points. Stacy. Shepard catching the action there from the scores table. All the talk always about Jeff Shepard and Reed Shepard. Stacy a standout in her own right for the Kentucky Wildcats. We'll step out and take a little break, and we'll be back with basketball action here on the WYMT Game of the Week. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, 
Our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverados in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. We must all remain committed to protecting ourselves and others from the spread of COVID-19. The best way that we can protect ourselves from hospitalization or even death is by staying up to date on our COVID-19 vaccine and regularly scheduled booster shots. Be sure to do your part and schedule your vaccine or booster shot today. We're all in this together. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. Second half action about to get underway here on the WYMT Game of the Week. I am John North here on the call. 34-21, not enough firepower so far for from Covington Catholic. As they'll look to pick it up here in the second half as they take their last huddle here. As we get you set for second half action, as this Covington Catholic team is no slouch in their own right. KHSAA Sweet 16 state champions in 2014 and 2018. They've been the runner-up. 1967, and they made the final four in 2004, 2015, and 2022. And they've won a plethora of ninth region championships, the most recent in 2022, 2020, 2019, 18, 15, 14, as they have dominated that ninth region. And on the road here tonight from London, as these two newly uh, acquainted rivals in the last couple of years square off. As Shepard all the way to the rack. Kick out three on the way from Brock in the corner. It's no good. And it's secured by McGillis. Off to Athens McGillis. He had really misspoke when I said that Shepard had struggled. He really hasn't taken a lot of shots in this one either. Absaro. Absaro, kind of kind of the uh, same thing on his end. I don't have the, neither of them really forced anything in this one so far. Getting their teammates involved as Shepard with a steal. Tries to spin. Off to Rawlings, who drives all the way into the rack. Shot up. No good, but a blocking foul called. So Rawlings is going to get two free throws out of it. Shot up and good. Rawlings scores his first bucket of the ball game in the opening of this second half. Next one on the way and good. Rawlings got them both. Ipsar over the timeline, staring down this 3-2 zone. Sorrow gets it back on the inside out. Three on the way for Caskill McGillis, who knocks it down straight away. More of that for the Colonels to climb back in it. Can they get some defensive stops inside as a quick touch in for Chadwell, and he's immediately fouled. 
In Covington Catholic, they've only lost three games this season. One of them to a rigid foe as Shepard drives all the way to the basket, comes around a screen, and gets his 10th point of the ball game. On the other end, a foul called against Rawlings as a quick transition bucket for Caskell McGillis is stopped, but two shots coming. First shot on the way. It's no good. Colonel's not doing themselves any favors here on the road. The top team RPI-wise within the ninth region. And if you are an outsider tuning in, you'd be surprised that North Laurel is not uh, the top team in the 13th region within the RPI. Of course, they do not get uh, a kind roll of the RPI. Deep three from Shepard. As Johnson with the rebound. Off to Absaro. Ahead. Three for McGillis. That's Athens. And Coach Valentine going to have to call a timeout. We'll keep it right here with you. Back to a 10-point ball game. But North Laurel with the out-of-state competition that they played and the high-caliber in-state competition they played, they have picked up 10 losses this season. Chadwell has been dealing with some injuries. And uh, Davidson, I think, missed a couple with some injuries as well. So and they haven't been healthy all year. So we'll take a look inside the North Laurel bench there. But make no mistake about it. A 9-0 record in the 13th region. And you will still have to catch North Laurel on an off night in order to knock them off. as far as 13th region teams go. Shepard across the timeline after the timeout from Coach Valentine. Over to Brock. Look for a cutting Davidson back out to Shepard. Sweeps through, goes into the lane, finds Davidson who lays this one in for two. So tough to stop on the penetration from Shepard and then just the finish from Davidson. It's high quality shots, and he hasn't taken many outside of the paint in this one. He hasn't had to. Absaro, great head fake to the rack, got hit on the way up. And no whistle. Shepard the other way, works on his handles. Behind the back dribble, all the way to the rack, layup is good. Gillis all the way to the rack. Leaves this one out to Johnson. Extra pass to Psaro. Athens McGillis. No look pass. Johnson replaces him in the paint. Floater in the lane. No good. Rawlings has it off to Shepard. Got down to 10. Brock steps into a three. It's good from Shepard. Whatever Coach Valentine said in the timeout is working. As to the rack goes Brady Hussey, and he is called for the or he is fouled, and will head to the line for two. Hussey with the free throws. First one on the way is good. He's got eight points. free throw up and no good that one spun around forever Chadwell with the rebound to Shepard Shepard across the logo high post to Davidson great read by Absaro gets this one ahead and he's blocked Shepard swats it away Davidson Rawlings drives floater good and one North Laurel basketball at its finest. 
beautiful runner from the baseline. Rawlings to the free throw line. He'll try for one. On its way. Good. Rawlings with five points. And this is flirting with 20 now for North Laurel. Deep three on the way. McGillis can't find anything. Chadwell on the rebound off to Shepard. Shepard drives with the left. Jumper no. Chadwell tries to clear out a rebound and called for the foul. Chadwell heads back to the bench. Tyler Elza in. And also back in the contest comes Cole Jervis, who falls down there on the defense. And now Ibsaro is called for the foul as he drives. Colonels. McGillis. To Caskill McGillis. Deep three, no good. Finds Athens McGillis. Backdoor cut of Sorrow to the rack and finishes. And Sorrow's fifth point. A steal. Ibsaro to the other end, all the way, lays it in for two. Seven points. Scoreboard's got him for eight, so I'll correct mine. Shepard slipping a screen is Davidson. They go in the corner to Jervis. It's tipped out of bounds. And that'll take us to immediate timeout. North Laurel running it up here against Covington Catholic. 48-33, we'll be back on the WYMT Game of the Week. Why is this man so happy? He's got Advantage Checking from Community Trust Bank. CTB's got him covered with credit monitoring and identity theft protection, cellular phone replacement and repair, roadside assistance service, and travel and leisure discounts. And with his Advantage Plus interest checking, he'll never pay a CTB ATM fee no matter where he uses it. So be happy. Get Advantage Checking from Community Trust Bank. you live here from North Laurel High School. John North on the WYMT at Game of the Week. And North Laurel with one of the more impressive performances this season, I'll say, here at home against a top-ranked Covington at Catholic team. As inbounding the basketball will be Shepard. Now the officials talking something over here with the administrators of North Laurel. And not sure what the conversation is about. And I believe we'll have a fan being ejected as uh, he points to himself and says me. I think there's some confusion on who's getting kicked out, but regardless, back in play. As I think the fans are even confused of who's getting kicked out. A drive, Shepard, pull up jumper, no good. Davidson with the basketball, tips it back out to Shepard, who goes to work from the elbow out to Chadwell. Pump fake, it lost it. Davidson saves it. Brock 
three at the top of the key. No good for Rawlings. Chadwell tried to finish on the end one. It's no good, but he is fouled and heads to the free throw line for two. Chadwell steps to the free throw line. First one on the way. No good. Next one on the way. Good. Chadwell got that one to go. Forty-nine thirty-three as we're under three minutes to play here in the third, and the pace has kind of slowed. McGillis. Gives it to a cutting Caskell McGillis all the way to the rack. Air aerobatic layup won't go. Shepard is fouled at midcourt by Ebsaro. And even in the NBA, it wouldn't be a continuation for Shepard. As it looks like the Colonels will take a timeout here to talk about it. 2.38 to play. Again, we've been talking about the McDonald's All-Americans in the state of Kentucky. This is uh, from Kentucky at UK, and it's not uh, as big of a list as you would think. Rajon Rondo, one of them. Rex Chapman, Winston Bennett, Dirk Minifield, and then Reed Shepard will join that elite list. Not counting this season, or, or coming in next season, rather. Uh, UK has had up to this point, which is uh, Casey Wallace, essentially his class, uh, 74 McDonald's All-Americans, and Reed Shepard will join that elite list. Next season, joined by Aaron Bradshaw, Justin Edwards, DJ Wagner. Shepard has it, drives to the left side, pull-up jumper, it's no good. It was a really cool moment, I thought, uh, with Reed Shepard receiving his uh, McDonald's All-American uh, plaque, uh, if you will. And to see the entire gym kind of rise up and cheer for him was deafening in here. And, you know, it's a rare sight that you get to see when you look at the list of names that have been McDonald's All-American. Caskell the top of the key. That was McGillis. Absaro kicks to the free throw line. A beauty for Brady Hussey. Textbook mid-range jumper. He's got 10 points. Can the Colonels get it within 10 before the fourth quarter? That has to be the goal. Coach Ruth says in his bunch. Brock, three. Yes, sir. Not if North Laurel continues to shoot like this. North Laurel hasn't been able to get this above 20, but it's been close. Johnson, extra pass. Ipsaro, three. No good. Davidson with the board off to Shepard. Shepard crosses over. Behind the back dribble. Kick out. Rawlings. Trey. No good. Ipsaro with the rebound. Ipsaro over the timeline. Stepping into a three is Hussey. It's no good. Shepard with the board. Rawlings sprinting to the other end. And North Laurel couldn't get in the basketball. A minute to play here in the third. Top-tier matchup in the state of Kentucky tonight. A dish underneath. Reverse layup is good. Coach Valentine gives a fist pump as Davidson finishes. 17 points. Johnson tries to finish over Chadwell. It's no good. Ahead to Shepard. Shepard drives into the paint. Hit and is fouled and will head to the line for two. Shepard wanted, Shepard wanted to get his hand one there. Couldn't get it. 
Runs into my good buddy down there, Les Nicholson. Doing his best work down there on the uh, baseline as Shepard can't get this free throw to go. Chadwell going to come out. Chase Keen in. This one up and good for Shepard. Ipsaro. He'll hold the ball at the top of the key. Ten. Nearing uh, ten seconds here in the first. Excuse me, in the third, as this one up and no good. Shepard with the basketball. Shepard over the timeline. Angling to the left side. Hesitates, skip pass over to Rawlings, who steps back one second. Rawlings gets rid of it. Can't get it to go, and we'll head into the fourth quarter with North Laurel leading by 20 over Covington at Catholic. We'll be back here on the WYMT Game of the Week. My name is Taylor. I am from Hazard, Kentucky. I had a visit here. The second I got out of my car, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I didn't need to hear anything else. He pulled up, like, my offer, and he scrolled down to the bottom, and it said, estimated total cost, zero dollars. I was like, I'm going here. I was looking for somewhere small and somewhere that I could feel at home and feel comfortable, and that's exactly what Union is to me. It's changed my life. the heart of the U.S. 23 Country Music Highway and nestled between the scenic landscapes of Paintsville Lake and Dewey Lake, our hometown has a little something for the whole family. Outdoor adventure, antique shopping, museums, local eateries, Butcher Hollow, and music. Home of Loretta Lynn, Crystal Gale, Chris Stapleton, and Tyler Childers. Paintsville, Kentucky is where music meets the mountains. Brady Hussey nails a three as we begin the fourth quarter as Brock goes over to Davidson. This has to be the run for the Colonels as we head into the fourth quarter. Shepard drives, triple team, finds Chadwell underneath, layup no, and Jones digs his head in there to try to get the rebound, and he will commit the foul against Chadwell, who will step to the free throw line for two. They might have got... Caskill McGillis on that instead. I thought it was Jones. No, it was against Jones. It's blinking now as it's his fourth foul. Chadwell couldn't get this one to go. Next one on the way. No good. Chadwell missed them both. Cat got the three, and now a stop, and they find another score. Shoot it from a 49% clip from the field, three on the way by Ruth Sets, and it's no good. Shepard with the weak side rebound, heads to the other end, fires a pass underneath the Davidson, it's tipped out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Jaguars. 
Ipsara got a little bit of a breather. We'll head back in now. Shepard looks for Davidson around the screen. Baseline jumper is good. Davidson, 19 points in the ball game. And stepping into a three will be Caskell McGillis. He's got 13, now a turnover. The other way goes the Colonels. Nathan's back to Caskell. Now to the top of the key for Ruth Sacks. On the touch is Athens McGillis. Absaro. McGillis drives, kick out. Absaro thought about it. Settling his Hussey. Hussey looks to step back. Absaro all the way to the rack. Layup is good. Great offense for the Colonels. And really, we haven't seen a set like that all night from Coach Rootset's team. As Coach Valentine, I believe, is going to try to adjust here. 57-43, as close as it has been in a while with 5.45 to play here in the ball game. As it will be a full timeout. Last time out, this North Laurel team was able to defeat Lincoln County in a, an impressive performance here at home, 87 to 67. As Reed went off in that one. And then the Colonels, last time out against North Laurel, won this one 69 to 65 in what was an instant classic. And it had the makings of that early on in this one, but Davidson and Chadwell just too much for the Colonels. Shots starting to fall, but can they get the stops on the defensive end? They got two missed free throws from Chadwell. They got a turnover. And another missed shot come down and scored. And that's when Coach Valentine called the timeout to talk about it. Covington Catholic will... Next foul will have North Laurel on the line for a one and one. North Laurel still with two fouls to give before they give up the bonus. As both teams break the huddle. Brock to inbound at midcourt. Shepard with it. Pulls up, top of the key, no good. Another stop. McGillis to... Haskell McGillis with another three. He's got 16 all of a sudden. And North Laurel immediately calls another timeout. I believe they called an official's timeout. The PA announcer said it was a North Laurel timeout, but official called a timeout as I think Gavin Chadwell needed stretched out on the sideline. And that's where he heads now. Covington Catholic get this under 10. It was 20 at one time. Can they get a stop? Shepard across the timeline to Davidson. Kick out. Keen on the drive. Backs it back out to Brock. Shepard. Jaguars tightening up a little in the half court. Rawlings nearly had it tipped away by Psaro, and it's going to be a whistle out front, and that will put North Laurel on the free throw line for a one and one opportunity. Lee Rawlings at the free throw line. First one up and good. Next one on the way, it's good. Rawlings got them both, that's his seventh point. Kyler Elza into the contest, he'll get Keen. Shepard across the timeline. And 
defensively, but it comes inside to Absaro, and he got it to go. Absaro got in deep as Brock with the extra pass over in the corner. Back out to Rawlings. Rawlings tried to get a screen from Davidson, and Coach Valentine called the playoff. In the corner, David, excuse me, that's Shepard drives. Kick out to Rawlings. It's tipped away. Ipsaro throws it off of Shepard and settling in his hussy. Back to Ipsaro. Extra pass. It's McGillis for three. It's no good. Tipped off the backboard. A scrum for it. And coming up with it was Ruth Sets. And they're going to get a foul against North Laurel. As we can see it here on the replay, it's tipped around. And a foul called there. It looked like it could have been a jump ball, but a little too much contact, the official saw. Chadwell going to get back in the game. Colonels back in the half court. Sorrow looking for it, but defended by Shepard, who's drawn that. North Laurel has switched to more of a man-to-man -man look, uh, more of a matchup zone, and then floating back into that 3-2. Ipsaro drives with contact, can't get it to go. Brock leading the break to the other end, kick out Rawlings, and he'll throw this one away. Ipsaro has it. Drives on Shepard, pulls up over top of him and gets it to go. Ipsaro with 14. It's a nine-point ball game here from North Laurel. The Colonels have battled back to Davidson. Drives baseline. Kick out. Brock, three. No good. Hussey with the board. 3-12 to play. A three on the way. No good. That would have been huge. It's tipped back to Ipsaro, and he's bumped. Foul called. Shots coming. Ibsaro steps to the free throw line. He can cut it to seven. First one on the way. It's good. Saro settles on the way. Good. And that'll take us to our final media timeout. Buckle in seven-point game here from North Laurel on the WYMT Game of the Week. Advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverados in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. Love is in the air, and Food City has everything you need for a grand romantic gesture. Sweep your Valentine off their feet with thoughtful gifts straight from the heart. This week, hearts will swoon with Cupid's Combo, a dozen premium roses, and a dozen hand-dipped chocolate strawberries, $34.99, and gift box or candy arrangements starting at $19.99. Share the love with Food City, valid February 8th through 14th. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. A 20-point ball game has been trimmed to seven. Ipsaro and company with outside shooting have gotten the stops that they've needed. they forced some turnovers. The North Laurel faithful come alive after the final media timeout. Shepard to bring the ball over the timeline. 
It's a screen from Davidson. Double team. Taken away. Shepard turns it over. It was Link with the steal. Athens McGillis straight away. Man to man look for North Laurel. They've caved on the 3 2. Ibsaro goes to work on Davidson. Kick out. Float back into that more matchup zone. Ibsaro drives, kicks. Jumper on the way is no good by Link. You can hear the collective groan of Colonel fans who have made the trip. They thought that was down. Shepard. Backs it back out. Coach Valentine calls out the play. Chadwell comes up to screen. Shepard. All the way to the rack. Runner in the lane. Good. Shepard with 15. And Sorrow nearly lost it out of bounds. Three-pointer on the way for Link. He can't get it to go. Chadwell with the rebound and fouled. He'll walk the other direction for free throws. A chance to push this back into double figures for the North Laurel Jaguars. You'll see it here on the replay. That three, Link has had two of them. Had they fallen, it's a different story right now. And Chadwell goes up, gets hammered on the rebound. Chadwell free throw is up and good. He's got 12 points. Next one on the way is good. Chadwell got them both. Covington Catholic going to let this roll up. Ipsaro goes by Shepard. Layup is good. Ipsaro, man, a special player for Covington Catholic if it's your first time seeing him. I got the scouting report on him leading up to this game. And a lot of good players in this region and coaches had a lot to say about him. And a technical called against Covington Catholic now. As Aiden Link complained about the call and then picks up the tee. Oh, my. Got the foul and picked up the tech. That's going to put Shepard on the line. Shepard to the free throw line. First one on the way, it's good. Shepard with 16 points. Next one on the way, no good. Missed this one. Two free throws he's missed, and now he'll go to the line. That was the two normal free throws, and now two technical free throws coming. First one up and good. Shepard, next one. Good, talked it in. Kind of exasperated as that one went. He's got 17 points. A far cry from the first outing between these two teams. And now a timeout called by Coach Ruth Sets, and we'll keep it right here with you. We'll be of the full variety. 125 remaining, and Coach Ruth Sets knows that it's do or die now for the Colonels, and he's going to use the opportunity to have a chat with the officials. But nonetheless, man, the Colonels just two big threes away. One of them rimmed out, the other a little short, but you get two good looks at it, and you're down seven. One of those go, you're down four. You feel pretty good here on the road, and the comeback, the crowd, you kind of took them out of it. But since then... The North Laurel Jaguars have answered. Tough rebounds from Gavin Chadwell. Some big time buckets from Shepard and company. And that's where we get here at 66-54 off of a 
technical foul called. As Shepard got four free throws, got three of them. And a timeout called by Covington Catholic. And now North Laurel will have the basketball, and they are up 12 in the ball game. And Covington Catholic on the road here at 21-3 overall on the season. Likely to represent the ninth region at Rupp Arena. As a backdoor cut out of the timeout. Shepard to Brock. It's a masterpiece. And that's all she wrote for Covington Catholic. Johnson saves this one in. Ibsaro drives underneath. Kick out, extra pass. McGillis, deep three is no good. Davidson has it off to Shepard, and he'll dribble over the timeline with under a minute remaining. As Shepard backs it back out and dribbles around the defense, goes underneath, and reverse layup for Davidson will go. He's got 21, another assist from Reed Shepard. North Laurel rises to its feet here at home as they pick up a huge resume win. Shepard nearly got the steal. Ball comes ahead, stepping into the three is Hussey. It's no good. Chadwell with the rebound off to Shepard. And the Colonels want to back everyone up. And a foul called instead. Nathan's McGillis will commit it. And Shepard will go to the free throw line to ice this one. As the Jaguars crack 70. Average 75 per game. Held just under that against a very good Covington Catholic defense. First one on the way, and it's good. Shepard with 18. Next one up and good. Shepard with a celebration as the substitutions come in and the starting five, if you will, head to the bench to a raucous round of applause. Sorrow brings it up. He'll go all the way to the rack. Layup is good. He's got 20, just shy of his average of 25. As Covington Cath tries to bring on the press and a five-second violation called with 7.7 .7 seconds left. Tyler Elza to check in. Shepard and Davidson, and now Coach Valentine, he wanted to bring the subs in, but Covington Catholic brought on the press, and so now Coach Valentine has brought in Shepard and Davidson. Ipsaro is going to drive in. Layup is good. And the clock will expire as North Carolina wins at 72. 2.58 as Absaro got one at the end to finish with 22 as these two teams go to shake hands. We'll step out and take a break and be back with post-game festivities here from North Laurel High School here on the WYMT Game of the Week. Love is in the air, and Food City has everything you need for a grand romantic gesture. Sweep your Valentine off their feet with thoughtful gifts straight from the heart. This week, hearts will swoon with Cupid's Combo, a dozen premium roses, and a dozen hand-dipped chocolate strawberries, $34.99, and gift box or candy arrangements starting at $19.99. Share the love with Food City, valid February 8th through 14th.
Introducing the Dovetail Collection from Vaughn Bassett, created from the finest solid American white oak lumber, aged and refined by Mother Nature, and lovingly shaped and finished in our factories in the Virginia mountains in four fresh and rich finishes, all with custom hardware showcasing American craftsmanship at its best. The Dovetail Collection by Vaughn Bassett, available now at Kemper Home Furnishings in London and Somerset. Stay here with us, folks, as we will have remarks from uh, North Laurel. More importantly, uh, Reed Shepard on his night where he is crowned a McDonald's All-American as a celebratory night here for North Laurel. I mean, folks, when you look at this from a, a you know, from a state perspective, uh, North Laurel with a huge win against Covington Catholic, who came into this one 21-3. and So uh, a very, very good Covington Catholic team, and you come in and beat them pretty convincingly. And uh, North Laurel will improve to 18 and 10 on the year as uh, Covington Catholic only their fourth loss of the season, 21 and four. And not only that, you're talking about two teams who uh, play a very demanding schedule. They play a very tough schedule, and uh, you won't find two teams who uh, have played uh, higher competition this season. Uh, maybe that Madison Southern team that uh, North Laurel fell to the other night. Uh, that is another team that's played. A lot of great teams this season, so uh, you saw two good ones here tonight. You see why Covington Catholic is so dangerous. Uh, Ipsaro, man, just the way he shot the rock tonight, you could see the scoring prowess, but the size of North Laurel, just a little bit too much, and you know that's going to be their strength in the 13th region as well. I know when you look at uh, RPI figures that you know this North Laurel team, I think, is fourth or fifth within the uh, 13th region. But uh, w that's on paper, and, and when you play an out-of-state school, you know, it counts as a 500 team within your RPI. So when it's all said and done, doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, all it means is that uh, North Laurel is uh, just uh, w within seating purposes, of course, with the RPI if you need to. But it won't mean nothing when the 13th region comes around as well as uh, the state tournament as well because it will be uh, a draw. I think that's coming up. Uh, the KHSAA draw is coming up on the 15th and that will determine uh, where we see the 13th region fall and who they will play. So the uh, in the grand scheme of things that uh, RPI, a little bit of a misleader when you look at the 13th region. North Laurel probably right now after this win, uh, the better team as they head down the stretch. Harlan County probably just behind them, and Harlan with coming in at third probably, and then you talk about the Corbin and South Laurels. After that, Barberville uh, fell in a uh, tough one last night to Corbin at home. Very good game there. And then uh, Pineville picking up a big win against uh, Williamsburg as well. Pineville probably a uh, regional tournament team as well. Sawyer Thompson lighting it up for the uh, Pineville Mountain Lions and as always going to be a very, very fun regional tournament when it's uh, all said and done. As we'll get to final game stats for you, we should have Reed Shepard here momentarily. As 19 points for uh, Shepard on the night. 21 points for Ryan Davidson. 13 points for Gavin Chadwell. 11 points for uh, Brody Brock, seven points for Colton Rollins, and one point for Chase Keen. We'll kick it to Reed Shepard. Awesome game, and I'm super excited to be in it and be a part of it. Yeah, what was it like? What was it like to be a part of it? What was it like to be a part of it? What was it like to be a part of it? What was it like to be a part of it? What was it like to be a part of it?
it's just a game. Uh, you know, we we didn't go home after that and not play another game. Uh, credit to Jalen, he's a great player, had a great game. Uh, tough place to play up at Madison Central. Uh, Coach Feldhaus, you know, one of the best coaches there is. Uh, so, I mean, we just had to put it past us and come back and fight and just keep taking it day by day and game by game and just stay together and really come together as a team. We must all remain committed to protecting ourselves and others from the spread of COVID-19. The best way that we can protect ourselves from hospitalization or even death is by staying up to date on our COVID-19 vaccine and regularly scheduled booster shots. Be sure to do your part and schedule your vaccine or booster shot today. We're all in this together. is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. My name is Taylor. I am from Hazard, Kentucky. I had a visit here. The second I got out of my car, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I didn't need to hear anything else. He pulled up, like, my offer, and he scrolled down to the bottom, and it said, estimated total cost, zero dollars. I was like, I'm going here. I was looking for somewhere small and somewhere that I could feel at home and feel comfortable, and that's exactly what Union is to me. It's changed my life. The heart of the U.S. 23 Country Music Highway and nestled between the scenic landscapes of Paintsville Lake and Dewey Lake, our hometown has a little something for the whole family. Outdoor adventure, antique shopping, museums, local eateries, Butcher Hollow, and music. Home of Loretta Lynn, Crystal Gale, Chris Stapleton, and Tyler Childers. Paintsville, Kentucky is where music meets the mountains. Take a look at what uh, North Laurel has remaining after we just heard from Reed Shepard as they'll have the Knox Central Panthers here at home on the 13th at 7.30 and then a battle of 13th region Blue Bloods, North Laurel and uh, Corbin coming at you as well on the uh, 17th. A correction from earlier from my producer. Uh it was uh, Madison Central there, not Southern, that uh, North fell to and played the tough schedule earlier in the season. We'll kick it out, take one more break, and we'll be back to wrap it here on the WYMT Game of the Week. Advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy... Our deals are real. Get financing as low as 2.99% for 36 months on new Chevy Silverados in stock. Demand to know the real deal. Legacy Chevrolet. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Why is this man so happy? He's got advantage checking from Community Trust Bank. CTB's got him covered with credit monitoring and identity theft protection, cellular phone replacement and repair, roadside assistance service, 
and travel and leisure discounts. And with his Advantage Plus interest checking, he'll never pay a CTB ATM fee no matter where he uses it. So be happy. Get Advantage checking from Community Trust Bank. Love is in the air, and Food City has everything you need for a grand romantic gesture. Sweep your valentine off their feet with thoughtful gifts straight from the heart. This week, hearts will swoon with Cupid's Combo, a dozen premium roses, and a dozen hand-dipped chocolate strawberries, $34.99, and gift box or candy arrangements starting at $19.99. Share the love with Food City, valid February 8th through 14th. In advertising, you see a lot of things that aren't real. This, it's a clip-on. But at Legacy, our deals are real. Get financing as low as 0% for up to 36 months on almost every new Nissan in stock. Legacy Nissan. That's going to do it for us here at North Laurel High School as North Laurel finishes Covington at Catholic 72 to 58 as they improved to 18 and 10 on the season. For my cast and crew, it was crew chief Greg Creech, my director Dustin Turner. On camera was Dennis Hudson, Joe Herman, and Tanner Gilmore. Big shout out to Kevin C. Hill as well and Master Control Anthony Sizemore on the graphics for you tonight. I'm John North signing off, and I'll catch you down the line.